ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Surgeon Neutral Play Survival Chaos. We are back again with the Blood Elves, and we're playing against the Goblin, the Naga, and the Undead. So let's hop in here. That's five. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So that's Elite Cavalry. One level of Arcane Aura. We like that. That's fine. So mid-game push, it's, it's nothing tremendously good. But at the same time, it gives us a little more oomph in the end game that in the mid game that we kind of lack. So we're Give gonna now, be you trembling mortals. Quickly. I am your lord and master. Illidan reigns supreme. Okay, so Illidan was picked by the Naga, so that's gonna be interesting to see how that plays into things. Um, all right, and we've got the Naga ahead of us. It, and in front of us in the middle and we've got undead up top so we've got turd ferguson oh we've got that there so i'm going to be pushing into that fairly fairly aggressively i must confess and we've got the undead up here good 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 so like once again nothing too too crazy kicking in right away what I might do tier two um, might as well tell them I mean it's not it's not gonna change the fact um, perfect so and he got Lich King. All right. Some spicy bonuses, team. All right. So, great. So we've got Elven Masonry, so that ups our defense just a little bit here. And has Norigod guard been talking? I don't think so. Hmm. All right, well... So, as can be anticipated, the Naga are pushing in pretty easily into the mid. That's fine. We'll be able to deal with that relatively easily. Norgard, the... So he... I'm, I'm still... I, I will be pushing into it. Um, so we've got a thousand here, so we're gonna upgrade those barracks. Once again, you know me, I love me my gold mines, and if there's an opportunity for me to get the gold mine, I will be getting that gold mine. So, that's pretty much my mentality behind that. It's super irritating, but at the same time... It, it really paints a target at your a, t a target on your back but at the same time it all right so all right so we're we're, we're doing pretty well here well I like these models they're basically reskin human knights, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, good. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to push through right away, which is actually very nice for us. Because that gives us a little more time to get some more researches in the bank and um, some more armor. Ooh. Well, it looks like I'm already kind of bothering blue here a little bit, but that's fine. And Turd Ferguson's getting a good push coming in here. All right. So I'm going to keep my eye out on that 100%. All right, this could be pretty bad. I think we're going to lose. Yep. So we've lost. Uh, 
So we've lost mid. Irritating. Bit of a bummer. But, you know. It's definitely not... It's a huge pain and it's a huge pain. It's a huge pain. But at the same time, if, if, if I had to lose a, um, a barracks right away, I, I, I would probably pick mid. So, all right. So, um, you know, we, we've got both of those coming in. Improved steel. Okay, so we've got more shield coming in. Then we can get improved steel weapons. Research finished. So good, good, good. This is pushing in. Hopefully, this should be enough to help me kind of survive a little bit more, because that would be nice. But yeah, I mean, I just totally got blindsided by that. He beat me. He he beat the hell out of me fair and square on that one. I'm not even mad. I'm disappointed for sure because uh, I didn't want to lose that quickly. But hey, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. It's just how it is. And either way, even if I, even if I get killed early, I want to cast to see who wins because these. Like, I love Undead and I love Naga. They're two of my favorite races, almost without a doubt. Oh my god, there's just so much coming into the base. So, uh, clearly, we should probably be getting some mana pools if I'm going to be getting reamed like this for the entire time. Still Graveyard Tier 1. Our town's going to be under siege for a while, my guy. Like, this is... This is a super bad situation for us. <laughs> yeah, it's still just an armory level one. Getting that arcane sanctum up. Blue's still graveyard level one. How, how are his units looking? Two and two, that's fine. I've got three and two, I think. All right, so, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, things aren't going great, but that being said, they could also be going worse. I could be two barracks down instead of just one, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, 15% unit damage. Let's get him going so we can get at least another unit pumping through here. All right, so now here come the scrap bots. We're three and two. And we're pushing in decently here. And what are they? They're three and three. I think they're rain, they're back. Yeah, four and three. That's what I thought, that's what I thought. All right, so we've got that. So now blue, all right, ironically enough, blue is blue. Uh, I just realized that. Our town's under siege. I can just wait just a little. Okay, so we're gonna lose that one. We're gonna be picking Kael'thas. Hopefully keep pushing that a little bit. So, Alright, so that's going in. Let's get some more Arcane Aura. Good. And so, so Kael'thas will be able to kind of hold... I just hope he doesn't go top. And he's going top. Okay. Research finished. Okay, not ideal. 
not really what I was looking for, but hey, sometimes it just be that way. And frankly, if I wanted to avoid that, I should have picked Lady Leodrin or Lorthamar to really kind of get that push going. Just kind of get into melee range, be able to hold on there. So, Ferguson's four and four. Still one and three. All right, that's gonna be an easy, easy defense. Um, I think we just finished the Arcane Aura. Let me check, no. That must have been, yes, Mithril Armor. Good, 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 good. Here, we're gonna, we're gonna be pushing here. Frankly, if I could throw out Lady Leodrin, this would be really, really nice. I think I should be able to, yep. Two, one. Cry for mercy. Repair that. So we've seen what happens when I don't repair or pay attention. I still don't think this is going to work out, but that's all right. Let us get some more here. Four, three. Oh my god! Okay, we've got a faceless overseers coming in. Hmm. All right, so I might just be getting blown out of the water here, but that's okay. <laughs> there are games. Good, good, good. We'll pick that up to push bottom. Oh, so he didn't have Necropolis level 2 yet. That explains what happened. Okay. Is there anything I really want here? More Arcane Aura would be nice. Splash Fire. Persistent Missiles. What? Yeah, well, it's got more than enough gold, silly Billy. And here comes Lady Leodrin, three and three. We're four and three, good, so we're outclassing them in terms of those upgrades. Let Terra rain. Let Terra rain. I don't quite know. That must be a Naga hero, because I don't recognize that voice call. Good, so we're doing decently here. Good, 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 good. Norgard. Okay, there's Razzle Dark Blue. Yeah, so he does have a tier two. Hero management is going to be super critical this game. Super, super critical. Alright, so I don't need to push into top anymore, which is a big relief for us. Actually, if we could even just take a tower out or something, that would be awesome. I don't think we're going to be able to do quite anything here, but that's also sometimes just how the cookie crumbles. Ooh, baby! Research for Ooh, blood elves, that makes me feel da -na 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 -na, so happy. Awesome. Cool, 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 cool. So let's get a arcane aura. Let's start getting some blood magic going. Lady Leodrin's getting thwonked. You know, part of it. We should also get some more mana Okay, no, we, we'll have enough. We'll have enough. Mm. 
some shiny button. None may challenge me. Right, so the faceless overseers going to town. Lorthramar's holding the line as best as he can. This is going to be a big push. This is going to be a really ugly thing for us to have to deal with. But luckily, it looks like we'll be able to have a... Um, it looks like we'll be able to have a level or two of, of Mana Torrent in there, as well as this new Arcane Tower. Arcane... Arcane Aura. There it is. Good lord. And he's four and four. We're three and five. Excellent. And get another advanced meta pool. And we just saw that Kel'Thuzad was coming down this way. So we are going to be able to hold on for a little bit here. Just because he's going to be putting in some work for us. Scrap bots are surviving more than I would like them to. All right. Research finished. All right, so here comes a big old push. get rid of his front line as quickly as we can and the rest should fall pretty quickly yep all right we took care of that so here comes razzle dark brewer feeding us delicioso Turk Ferguson. He's a nice guy. <laughs> Research or lady. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't care. Gaming, as far as I'm concerned, is open for everybody, so. Could be a he they, she they, them they. I don't care as long as they're game, I am content. Alright, so yeah, this poor guy is just getting absolutely destroyed. There's a tier two. I've got to. I, I, I need to see whether or not he's gone tier three. Shiny button. Into him, but I'm not. Well, I, if um, if the Naga have gone undead, uh, tier three into them. All right. So with Norgar. Noragdi? I don't know. Okay, so Noragdi has lost left barracks. That gives me a bit of an opening here. My soul longs for vengeance. Okay, and here comes another wave with Kel'tha still strong in the back line. Good, 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 good. Um, more Arcane Aura. So he did have to nuke. Care for a cocktail? Care for a cocktail from <laughs> Razzle Dark Room. Research um. Alright, so with blue. As, pain, 
as in much pain as he is, I might have to send and just kind of end it. We'll we'll have to see. Oh, I was hoping Kael'thas would survive, but he could not. I will not be trifled with. Okay, so he's got a big push coming up, so that's going to give him a bit of respite there and give me a bit of respite as well. So we are going to be picking up this um, advanced blood magic. That's a lot of stuff in mid. That's a lot of stuff in mid. I don't like it. All right. So what else? What else can we be getting? Uh, we could be getting some more incinerating arrows, and I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to be doing next. He's six and four. We're five and five. But we're going to be getting some more magic going, which is always a good shout. As well as sending out Lord Tamar. Because that Nelfield could be really, really nice. He's pushing in. That's fine. <clears throat> I do also have to keep an eye out for getting Arcane Sanctum because I need my special unit out. Or at, at the very least available because it's going to be so important during the late game to just have an extra hero ready to defend whenever I really need them to. <clears throat> it must be like a mind control tech or something like that. Okay, you're hitting my face. I would rather you didn't. Okay, there's a nice blade storm. Good blade storm going in. Seeing GG, I need to send this up. Insufficient gold. Alright, so... Oh, he sent two heroes my way. Good sir, I am honored. Thank you for trusting me with so much money. Yeah, we, we, we don't have the best aggro going on right here, but, you know part of it. Here, I think I will throw out Kael'thas, just because I want to meet who, who whatever, um, I want to meet whoever they're sending this way with as much strength as I can muster to kind of get that first initial push and hopefully get the drop on him. Um, and pop a barracks. Because that's that's what I need right now. I need Naga to take a hit. And unless Naga t uh, takes a hit soon, they're just going to spiral out of control. There's Illidan Storm Rage. Skurra, skurra, Illidan. Okay, good. This is Athissa. This is exactly why I sent out what I sent out. Good. So I, so I have... Oh, and I'm going to be taking out two heroes. Uh, if we can get to them. Hope we can get to that. Because once again, we're in trouble if we don't. Alright, so let's get some basic, uh, some advanced mithril armor. So it looks like we killed Athissa and we will be killing, killing Lady Vosh. That provides us with a very nice little buff there. And then we are going to have to picking this up. We did pick up his right barracks. Amazing. It's 
huge. That's huge, 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 huge. Okay. Speaking of huge... I can, I can take some damage here. I, I don't want to take a lot of damage, but I can I can take some. Let's get Lady Leodrin out here. Oh, the Null Field! The silence! Um... Oh, the silence got me good. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, that was so good. Oh, you bastard. Oh, oh, that was incredible. Oh, that was incredible. I'm not even, dude, I'm not even mad. That was, that was, that was lit. That was awesome. <laughs> oh well. Wow. Oh, and Lady Leandrin left. Why did she leave? Okay. 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 So you know, Spice. Spice has landed, but he's lost the middle barracks. I, d I don't want to send this message until I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so Illidan's up there fighting Kael'thas. Kael'thas is dead. <laughs> Luckily, Lady Leodrin's here. I will take second place, though. Okay, okay. Now that I know it was safe. Okay, so, um... We've kind of capped out into what we can do. Alright, I, I will take that. I don't think you're as important as incinerating arrows. Okay, good. So we've got a bit of a push going on there. Lord Thamar should be able to hold on till that comes in. Upgrade complete. I will be repairing. Off I go then. Like, because the thing is, he's played super well. He's played super well, and I'm and I'm not going to deny that what he did was very well done. It, it, it's it's one of those situations like I'm not gonna be mad because he was because he caught me with my pants down. He caught me with my pants super down. He caught me like he he caught me with my pants so down. I was like I wasn't even in the bath like I, I hadn't even started going to the bathroom yet. I it was like. You know that moment where you pull down your pants and your quads kind of initiate as you lean in to sit down? Like, that's that's how good he got me. It's as simple as that. Like, he got me, like, before the whole process had even started, before I was even like, ooh, better check and, you know, lock the door. You know, y y you guys know me. I normally talk about, you know, upgrading mid. He got me before I talked about upgrading mid. Like, that's, that's impressive. That's really well done. Him out for the for the auras. I just don't think we've got enough put spot in the back. Oh, we might be able to take this. Oh, 
no. Oh well. That's 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 pretty much my death now at this at this point. The flows of magic are losing. Memory of Quell to loss. Oh, bye, Kalthas. Goodbye, Kalthas. Thanks for helping. <laughs> Yeah, and, and his Illidan has gotten very, very strong, too. Yeah, but I mean, my Blood Elves are making him bleed for it. And frankly, at this point, that's all I can ask for. There's a good little fight going on here, but... 2v1, even though Kael'thas is level 16, Mr. Snake is not going to cut it. Yeah, down goes Kael'thas. Down goes my last barracks. And thank you, everybody, for watching this episode of Sergeant Neutral. Congratulations to Turd Ferguson and to all of my other competitors. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you guys a win this time around, but very simply, I was caught out of position and outplay. So thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Sergeant Neutral, signing out.